Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Neo Forge server for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But all you wanna do here is go to your search bar and search up Neo Forge, like so. Once you entered, you will see neoforge.net. Just click the link, and this will bring you to the NeoForge homepage. Now, all you want to do is go ahead and make sure you have Minecraft 1.20.5, and then you can click the latest NeoForge installer. So what you can do here is just go ahead and click the latest NeoForge installer button, and this will download you the NeoForge installer here. And as it's a .jar file, what you have to do here is go to a new tab, and if you can't run it, you'll have to go ahead and go to your search bar and search up JDK24. And here you'll see Java Downloads here by Oracle. So just click this link here. And I will have this website in the description as well, but just do accept all. And here all you want to do is scroll down. You'll see JDK24. And you'll see Windows here. Just click Windows if you're using Windows. And you'll see x64 installer here. And you'll see that we can go ahead and click this link to download the file and go ahead and install it to our computer. This will give you the ability to run this NeoForge file here. Okay, so once you're done with that, you can close your web browser and then what you want to do here is make a new folder somewhere that you can keep so it makes everything nice and clean. So for example, what you can do here is go on your desktop or your documents or something and you want to right click and you want to do new folder. And here what you want to call it, it can be new forge for example. It doesn't really matter. All you need to have here is just a folder that you can have all your files in. So what this means is if you double click it, it should be empty. And what you want to do here is go to your downloads folder and you want to select and copy NeoForge. Here you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder, which is our new folder here, and just click paste. And you now have NeoForge in your new folder here. This means you can go ahead and double click it. And as we have Java like installed on your computer, you will be able to have this little window here. Just select install server instead here. And here it is going to tell us, okay, there's already files in this directory. All we want to do here is go ahead and go to our new folder we made, like so. We we'll just select it. And now we selected our folder here. What we just do, proceed. And this just goes ahead and download NeoForge for us. So we just need to wait for that. Okay. And once it's done, you can just do OK and you close everything. And from there, you want to see this run.bat file here. So all you want to do here is just go ahead and double click it. And this will just go ahead and run the server for you. So here it, is, it tells us to click any key to just continue. So we'll just do enter for example. And now we see a eula.txt file here. So what you want to do here is double click it. It will say false. So just change false to true, like so, and you can go ahead and save it. Now you can run the run.bat file again, and this will do basically the same thing, except it's going to go a bit further this time and start the server for us. So we can go here to see the new folders, and yeah. So here we have a little thing that tells us do we want to allow or cancel. Just do allow, and this will give you a little window that you can actually use and now all you want to do here is simply go to minecraft so we'll go to our minecraft launcher here and we want to test out if our server works so the way we do this is make sure that you have 1.5 here if you do click play and this will just load up minecraft so here it is here's our little vault here little vault folder here the server looks nice and we also have a mods folder here now there's a, there's a reason for that so basically all you want to do is once you have minecraft you want to go to multiplayer and you want to go to add server here we just do add server and for server address you can either do 0.0.0.0 if you're doing this on the same device or server here and if you have like another computer or something and you're doing this at home what you want to do is go to your computer's network here to the actual network's properties. It should look like this. And from there you want to actually scroll down 
and you'll see like the IPv4 addresses. So all you want to do here is just go ahead and copy this one. So that would be IPv4 address. It should look something like this. And from there, you can go ahead and go to add server. And it goes here. And you have the same thing here. And I will also have in the description a tutorial to how to port forward if you want other people from other networks, which are not in the same Wi-Fi network as you, to join your server. But basically, you'll be using this IP to port forward to your public IP, basically. So if we join any one of these, so I can join this one, for example, we'll see that we joined, and here we are. So this is our server here, and we can see that we have one player here as we joined. And yeah, if I do F3 here, we will see that we are running a NeoForge server, as expected. And for the mods folder here, Basically, you put NeoForge mods in there, and you also download NeoForge to client. So instead of selecting server, your client, so just each player will have to do this. So they will be running a NeoForge version of Minecraft here, let's say NeoForge here. We have the same mods as well, so you have to give them the mods, and then they will add them to the mods folder in their end, and then they'll be able to join your server as well. If, of course, you have mods. If you're not using mods for some reason, they'll just be able to join like I'm doing right now. But yeah. That is how we create a NeoForge server for Minecraft Java 1.21.5. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!